haul today to share, I have a few English volumes of manga that I've gotten recently, as well as an exciting package that I got from China of a couple volumes of manhua. And I recently have gotten two print orders sent to me, so I'm gonna go through those as well. And I will have timestamps below, so feel free to jump to whatever looks interesting to you. So I'll start with the manga. So a couple pre-orders. I got volume nine of My Dress Up Darling. This was really bizarre as I was waiting for this to come. I pre-ordered it through Books A Million and they're usually really fast and we'll ship pre-orders before release date and then I usually will get them like on release date or maybe a day after. But this is two weeks past release date and I just got it yesterday. So not really sure what happened, but I'm happy to have this now. Volume nine, My Dress Up Darling is a seinen series and I really like it. It follows this boy and this girl in high school. It's kind of a slice of life about their friendship as they work together to make cosplay outfits for her. And there has been a little bit of romance, so hoping <laughs> we'll be able to see some of those developments further in volume nine. I also got volume five of In the Clear Moonlit Dusk. I really like this series. I really like this mangaka. So I'm really happy to have this now. I haven't read it yet. I just got it like two days ago. This is a shoujo high school romance series that of course follows these two here on the cover. I just absolutely love her art style. The characters are gorgeous. And the story is just really cute. Yoi, it's her first romance, her first time having these feelings, and Kohaku, who is a more popular guy who's been in relationships before, is also having some different emotions as he's kind of getting into this different relationship with a different kind of girl than who he's been with before. So really happy to have this one. Gonna probably read it this week because I'm really excited about it. And then I also got volume two of Do Ra Ra Ra. I was really happy to find a secondhand copy of this volume because it's actually out of print. It's not even listed on Barnes and Noble or Right Stuff Anime only on certain sites to purchase the ebook. So I have seen some different listings for this volume floating around, but since it's an older volume, about 11 years old, a lot of the listings that I've seen for secondhand copies of these are pretty roughed up volumes. So I was really pleased that I was able to find a volume that was in pretty good condition. But I do have some more volumes of Dura Ra Ra on the way for the first four volumes of the main story. This one is the only one that's out of print. So I have three and four on the way. Then there's a three volume arc that I also have on the way and then a three volume arc that is also out of print. So gonna keep an eye out for some reasonably priced copies of that arc, but I'm just glad to have found this one. But this is a Shonen series that has a little bit of supernatural elements, but it follows just several different types of bizarre people as they interact with each other in a city with a lot of gang activity. But I did just recently do a full read through last month of Do Ra Ra Ra. I had watched the anime years ago and I really liked it. And so I was wanting to read the manga. And after reading it, I decided I wanted to collect the physical volumes. So happy to have this one. And then for my print orders. So one of the print orders that I got earlier this week was a one piece fan art poster of not just the straw hats sitting around a meal together, but also some other characters from the series as well. I did upload a YouTube short earlier this week of the unboxing of that print. So I'll put a little clip of it up here, but if you want to watch the whole thing, I'll have a link to it up here as well. But I found this artist on Instagram. They do a lot of fan art for Genshin Impact and some other fandoms, but 
I really liked this illustration from One Piece and wanted to be able to add it to my display with my One Piece section of my shelves. So really happy to have that. And then for my other print order, I got a few bundles of mini prints as well as a larger print. So this one here is Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. This is an artist that I follow on Instagram who I really love their art style. And one of the bundles that I got was a kimono series of a few characters wearing kimono and they're just gorgeous. I love them. And I actually had been wanting to get some of these prints for quite a while, like the past five or six months, but there were a couple items that were out of stock. So I just was routinely going to the shop page and refreshing, hoping that there would be an update and then the shop closed during anime convention season. So as soon as she got these items restocked, I right away just put my order in so that I wouldn't miss out. But so I have this Gojo print. Oh, I love it. And then I got the set of three mini print bundle from that same line. I think it was called Traditional, Traditional Seasons. So we have the same illustration of Gojo, but in just a smaller format. And then Yuji, he looks so happy. I love his little smiling face. And then Megumi. And this one, I just, it's so stunning, the illustration. He looks so pretty. So really happy to have these ones. And then this other bundle of three mini prints. So Yuta, I really, really wanted <laughs> Yuta from this series. And I could have just gotten him just as a single print on his own, but I wanted it to be in the same size as the mini prints for Yuji and Megami that I got. So I got this whole bundle of Yuta and then Toge. He has a little onigiri on his shirt and another Megami. So I would have loved if they could have been in kimono as well, but I just love this windblown look they all have and he has his ring around his neck. I'm really happy with these ones. So definitely go and check this artist out if you like this art style and might want to get some of these prints as well. Okay, and now I'll get into this package. So this is an order from AliExpress and I recently made an order with AliExpress where I got two art books and I was really happy with the art books that I got. They were sent separately though because I ordered them from different buyers. One was packaged really well and then the other one was just in a bubble mailer for a larger art book. So it did get bent along the spine and then all of the corners had been kind of banged. So with this order, I was getting two larger volumes of manhua. So I, of course, wanted them to arrive safely and to be packaged well. So I ordered both of them from the same seller of the one that I ordered last time. And it seems like they packaged them together and shipped them just as one big bundle. So I'm happy that they arrived at the same time and hopefully this way of doing it was secure so that they'll be protected. And just from feeling it, they have that same foam packaging, it seems inside. So I'll go ahead and get into this and share what series I just picked up. So yes, these two volumes are also from Moss Paca Studio. So they're each individually in these little foam containers. So, ah, <laughs> and they taped them together just so that they'd be more secure. So I'm happy about that. And then in here should be an acrylic charm. And 
and it's in a little bubble mailer or a little bubble envelope. And it is a little acrylic charm from Here You Are. And then the manhua. Each wrapped in plastic as well and looks like they're in very good condition. So I'm gonna get them out of the plastic. Okay, so this is volumes one and two of The Wolf Who Picked Up. I think there's another title, The Wolf That Picked Something Up. But I've been really wanting to get this series, even though it's in a language that I can't read. I really like the story and I also really love the art style. And because it's in full color, just kind of makes it a little extra special. So as you can see from just flipping through the beginning section of the story, it starts out like literally as a wolf, <laughs> a pack of wolves, and then a little puppy. And it's just kind of <laughs> starting this way to show the symbolism of some of the relationships later in the story. But so after this little introduction section. It switches to the different animal characters as human and shows kind of their relationships with each other. But it's about a man who was basically a gangster boss who sustained a serious injury. And while he is in recovery, he finds this abandoned little boy in the woods and takes him in. So there, <laughs> relationship is symbolized by this vicious wolf taking in a little puppy. <laughs> but the story is super sweet and then you've got this handsome gangster man and like I said it's full color so I feel like it's almost like a little bit of an art book, or at least that's how I'm going to be kind of treating it since I can't read this. But this is all content that I have read before. But just also really love all of the little extra illustrations. But this first volume did come with a few extras. And let me show the cover real quick. Under the dust jacket. But with volume one came these little postcards. So first the wolves and the puppy. And then most of the story does take place with him as a little boy, but then there are 
miscellaneous illustrations of him once he's grown up as an older, I don't know, late teen, maybe, maybe around 20, I'm not sure, but with his gangster papa. <laughs> and then volume two. And it is kind of slice of life, so I'll flip through this one a little bit as well. It's not really like content that will be spoilery, I don't think. So this is the cover. Very cute. <laughs> and then under the dust jacket. I love stories about gangsters and just like crime elements. So I do like this one because it has that, it has older men in it, but then it also is extremely cute. But again, just full color, extra illustrations. love this and I honestly don't know like how popular this series is so I have no idea what the likelihood is of us getting it in English so that's why I did just go ahead and order it in the original language also because I knew that these books were really nice quality and because they came with extras so with the volume 2 or a few things. So first, this little sticker sheet. This is too cute. And then from that first page, this little little print. And then a few smaller prints. Some other characters. This is cool. So I believe this is called a lenticular print where it has this texture on it where if you look at his eyes, they change a little and his hair. Very cute. Oh, and you can see the snow falling, both of their eyes moving a little. That's cool. So I'm really happy. This was a really good experience. Ordering again from China. Everything arrived safely. So I'll put a link in my description to the shop on AliExpress that I ordered this from because it seems like they package things really well. This is only my second time getting something from them, but a friend who has made few more AliExpress orders than I have did also recommend this seller and has had good experiences using them as well, so. Happy to have this series now adding to my collection, as well as these new volumes of manga my latest print orders, and my new acrylic charm. Okay, cutting to about 30 minutes in the future. I was gathering all of the trash from the packaging and I was peeling the tape off of those foam containers so that I could reuse them. And I realized there was more that I didn't pull out of the foam. 
So also with the second volume, were these two, a little shikushi board and an acrylic standee. So let me get these out real quick. So cute. <laughs> and then love this. It's so cute. <laughs> Nice too. This little artboard. So I'm glad I didn't just throw those foam containers away because <laughs> I totally missed these. But happy to have these as well. See you again soon in another video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>